Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some very good news pertaining to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, many outlets today are getting their preview builds of the game, and this is the final preview until the game launches. Now, if you don't know, the game launches November 10th on the Xbox Series X, as well as other platforms. Now, when I first saw Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I wasn't too impressed with the character models. I've said on record that the character models, they were very bland, generic looking. I just didn't like the way they looked. Looked. I'm happy to report today that the character models have seen a significant upgrade over the previous version. Now when we look at the version before the upgrade, you can see that the character model, it kind of looks really generic in my opinion. And now when we look at the new character model, it looks absolutely incredible now the attention to detail i have to say is outstanding i like the texture i just like the look of the character i think it's a big improvement over the previous version now we're also hearing that there's a lot of differences in this game over the previous assassin's creeds now i'm going to be honest with you guys i'm not the biggest assassin's creed fan i've played all the games but i'm not one of those guys that looks forward to the game every year if i get it i get it if i don't i don't most years i usually get it when it's on sale on black friday this year however However, after getting all of the details of this upcoming game, I've actually pre-ordered the game. Now it takes place in the Viking time period and right there alone is worth the price of admission. Now they've also made some changes to the way the game is played. Now no longer do you have to go do all of these side missions, instead they're going to have world events. So you don't have to kind of pace yourself through the world, you just do things as they appear and I think that helps with the overall play and feel of the game. They've also made some changes to the stealth mechanics no longer can you use your falcon to mark all of the enemies that are in the area you can still use your falcon to kind of survey the area and of course you'll be able to see some of the enemies you just won't be able to tag them you're gonna have to go close to that enemy climb up somewhere high and do your scanning in order to tag your enemies now there's also going to be some huge raids these are going to be side missions that you're going to do with some of your viking clans you're going to have assaults on fortresses so you're going to see some really big and epic battles they've also made changes to the combat so you're not gonna have a health bar that kind of regenerates over time you're gonna have to accumulate health by picking up stuff in the environment like berries and the regular stuff that you pick up in Assassin's Creed now I have to say that I'm pretty excited to play as a Viking I can't wait to do the sea missions and the overall big battles of the game but most importantly I'm so happy to see that this game has received a massive upgrade now this is a rare instance for Ubisoft most of the time they show us a game it looks fantastic and then when the game is released it doesn't look like what they showed us in the first offering this however is a departure from that as I said as the game has definitely seen an upgrade on the character models and I'm hoping in other areas in the game now overall I have to tip my hat to Ubisoft they've really gone out of their way here to make Assassin's Creed Valhalla a true next generation experience the character models look fantastic I like the textures I like the level of detail in it and also they got this game running at 4k 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. Now previously they announced that this game would be 4K 30 and a lot of people kind of groaned at that because we were expecting a 4K 60 frames per second experience with this title on the Xbox Series X. So not only have they upgraded the game with the visuals, we also get a bump in frame rate as this game is scheduled to run at 4K 60 frames per second. Now this game comes out on the 10th of November so I'll have it on the channel and we'll put it through its paces to see if it truly does achieve 4k and 60 frames per second anyways i want to know what you guys think about all of this are you impressed with the upgrades with assassin's creed valhalla or do you think it's just another assassin's creed game let me know in the comment section down below and like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one